Good morning, GS student. This is your math teacher, Mr. I hope you are all safe. Our lesson today is about inverse trigonometric function. In fact, we are going to learn how to study the variation in the properties of arc cotangent of x. First of all, we are going to start by f of x equal cotangent of x. This function is defined over the interval k pi pi plus k pi, where k belongs to z. Now, since this is a periodic function, so I can deduce that uh, periodic function of period pi since cotangent of pi plus x equal cotangent of x. So we can reduce our work over the intervals minus pi over 2, 0, union 0, pi over 2. And since the cotangent function is an odd function since cotangent of minus x equal minus cotangent of x, then we can reduce also our work again over 0 pi over 2. Then we complete it over minus pi over 2 by symmetric with respect to origin and over its entire the interval by the translation of vector v equal k pi i. If a prime of x equal minus 1 over sine square of x, which is strictly less than 0, then f is strictly decreasing over 0 pi over 2. Limit of f of x when x tends to 0 plus equal 1 over 0 plus, which is plus infinity, then x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. The table of variations of f of x equal cotangent of x over 0 pi over 2 is given by this table and its representative curve here. Over minus pi over 2 and 0, we uh, complete the curve by symmetric with respect to, other, to the origin. It will be like this. So here, I notice that over minus pi over 2, we take the symmetric with respect to the origin. And over the entire domain, we do the translation of vector uh, v equal k pi i. And this is the representative curve of uh, f of x equal cotangent of x. Now, over the interval 0 pi. This is the domain of definition of f. Here, I can say that f is continuous, strictly decreasing. So I uh, I can deduce that at m is an inverse function g, which is denoted by r cotangent or cotangent minus 1. And in fact, the domain of definition of g, it will be from minus infinity till plus infinity. Now, f of x equal r cotangent of x. We know that it is decreasing, strictly decreasing from pi to 0. And uh, this is its representative curve, which is the symmetric of the curve of... Uh, uh, f with respect to the uh, first bisector of f, which is cotangent of x. Properties, cotangent of arc tangent equal x, cotangent of arc tangent equal 1 over x. For x belongs to r, we have arc tangent plus r of x plus arc cotangent of x equal pi over 2. Why is that? Here, <coughs> arc tangent of x, just a minute, I need to correct here. Okay arctangent of x equal alpha, then alpha tangent of alpha equal x, beta equal arc cotangent of x, then cotangent of beta equal x. Since x equal x, then tangent of alpha equal cotangent of beta, in which case when beta equal pi over 2 minus alpha, then by transforming alpha the, to the second part, then alpha plus beta equal pi over 2, therefore arctangent uh, of x plus arc cotangent of uh, x equal pi over 2. Now, If f of x equal arc cotangent, then f prime of x equal minus 1 over 1 plus x square y is that. If y equal arc cotangent of x, then x equal cotangent of y. We take cotangent of both sides. Then we can say in this case by differentiating with respect to x, we obtain the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of tangent y equal y prime into minus 1 over sine square of y which is y prime into minus 1 plus cotangent square of y and cotangents of y equal x. So minus y prime into 1 plus x square. So I can deduce that derivative of arc to a cotangent of x prime equal minus 1 over 1 plus x square. Definitely arc cotangent of u prime equal minus 2 prime over 1 plus u square integral of minus 1 plus x square dx equal arc cotangent of x plus c which uh, and also integral minus u prime over 1 plus u squared dx equal r cotangent of u plus c. That's all for today. Thank you.